All right, Jaden, what game are we playing today? We are playing But Wait, There's More. Ooh, do you like But Wait, There's More? I do. I think it's a really fun game. And why do you like it? I like it because it's a game where you have to be able to think quick on your feet and make something sound appealing when it's completely not. All right, well, why don't you tell us how to play But Wait, There's More? Okay, so you start out with every player choosing what company they want to be. There's all these different choices. I'm okay. going to be doohickeys and doodads. Nice. So I place this card in front of me so everybody knows who I am. After that, there's these feature cards that you will want to grab three of per player. They have things like loud enough to kill, that I can't read, works in three easy steps, and firms and shapes your body into a sculpted work of art. Ooh, nice. Things like that. All sorts of things, okay. And then you get vote cards. In a five player game, you'll get two ones, a two, and a three. Okay. And these you'll put aside for just now. And then one, uh, then, not one person, you flip over a product, like a banana, or playing cards, or a screwdriver. And you'll try to look through your cards and pick one that is a feature that you'll use on this product to make it sound appealing. But then halfway through your sales pitch, which is timed by this timer, you have to flip over another feature from a deck and it add that feature on. So it has a twist. Ooh, all right, well, give us an example. All right, so let's say I was selling a golf club. I would say, hmm, which of my three cards that I have here would be good for a golf club? So everybody's gotta pitch a golf club, but they secretly pick or simultaneously pick one of their own features. Yeah, and then you put okay. that, I'll put works in three easy steps, face down on your card, put okay. the other two to the side for now. Okay, and when everybody's ready to pick their things, and one person goes first. Yep, and they say this. So you've all had your golf clubs before, but this golf club is something special. It works in only three easy steps. First of all, you just have to take the golf club, pull it back, swing forward. The ball's on its way. It's that easy. But wait, there's more. It also keeps your fingers warm and toasty for those mornings where you're golfing on a cold, cold day, and you, you're single glove isn't just good enough. The grip on the golf club is heated so your fingers are warm throughout the whole experience and that's why you should get this golf club. And then nice. time runs out and we move on with the next person. So then the next person has to pitch from and, theirs. And Ooh. they say, oh, we're selling it that it's safe and effective for you to clean your ears. And then halfway through, they also have to say it's good to the last drop. <laughs> Somehow. Somehow. Well, I think you ought to give us another example. Take up three more features. Okay. Just to show us what else might happen. So, say I had the features which life likes, with, not which, with lifelike sounds, gives you what you've always wanted without high cost of cosmetic surgery, or it's like having 18 tools in one. And let's see what you're going to have to sell. I'm going to have to sell adhesive tape. Okay, pick one of your features. All right. <laughs> you got it? Okay. I think I'm ready. <laughs> we're, we're ready for you. Okay, so everybody has their favorite adhesive tape that they use, but I'd like to pre uh, present our own version from Doohickeys and Doodads. This adhesive tape, well, it's special. It's like having 18 tools in one. You can use it as a hammer. You can use it as a tape. You can use it as glue, even. It's up to you. There's 18 different ways to use it, but wait. There's more. It also gets rid of stains and odors left by pets. Spread this tape over any nasty liquids that your pets may have left behind while they're not quite house trained yet, if you know what I mean. And three days later, peel it off and the smell's completely gone. <laughs> nice. And there you go, adhesive yeah. tape. Nice. And well, then show us how, uh, so after everybody's gone around and done their pitching, show us about the voting. You said to set those aside for later. Once everybody has gone around and done their pitching, you pull out your three vote card, your four vote cards if it's a five player game, and you say, hmm, Whose do I think is the best? And you give them the three card, but you put it face down. Then the two and the two ones. But you don't flip these over yet. Then you'll take two more ones, one more two, one more three, and you'll do another round. And at the end of every, once all the rounds have finished, everybody flips over their cards. And we see that, oh, this person got four, this person got four, this person got four, this person's bad at selling. <laughs> and you... And you don't tell up your votes till the end, and then whoever has the most points wins. So after three rounds, everybody's got votes from everybody else, and just add them up. Yeah. Well, sweet. Well, you mentioned one thing. You said this person's not good at selling, which makes me think, is there people that will not well, like, but wait, there's more? 
There definitely are. If you find it hard to think on your feet or panic when you're under a short time constraint, this is a very short timer. It might not be your favorite game. I love the idea of having it flipped over and randomly having to add on that it's safe and fun for infants <laughs> to a toilet paper dispenser. I find that a lot of fun, but I can see that there are some people who definitely find that harder or not as appealing. Oh, yeah, especially if you're going down one way on the feature set, you flip over a new feature to add to it. it's completely different. <laughs> it throws you off, and you love to roll with your feet and just keep going, man. Oh, yeah. Sweet. All right, well, what would you rate, but wait, there's more? I would rate it a 4.75, 4.75. Nice. I think you'll be playing this a bunch. Oh, yeah. All right, thanks, dude. All right, see ya.